Hi, Scorpio. Welcome in. Uh, Carolina Moon here. Uh, happy to be with you and happy to have you with me. Um, super want to thank everyone that's hitting that like and subscribe because it really helps me um, support my channel. And I'm hoping to do a lot more reading since we're all under this uh, uh, house, house uh, bound thing here. So um, I just am feeling a lot and hearing a lot of different messages from the spirit of things that I need to get out. And uh, so I really want to do a lot more. So thank you very, very, very much. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we are April 1st through the 15th. We're doing a love reading and we're just uh, also letting the spirit come through. I've been talking to my guide Josephine to ask for special messages for for you Scorpio and um, when you hit that subscribe make sure you're hitting that bell because I'm, I'm gonna be doing some live I'm gonna be uh, answering some yes and no questions I'm gonna start out that way uh, uh, channeling Josephine to get answers for you and also I'm offering an extended read to this reading um, so for those of you that don't know you hit the tab and then there's a link below and it'll take you right to me and um, yeah, we'll get on, we'll, we'll get more information, okay? So right now I have shuffled the cards already, all decks. I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna get the information. The, this information is from Josephine, coming from the Ancestor and Angel Oracle cards. I'm gonna pull three. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys. Josephine Scorpio. My gosh, the first one we got is Mountains Stand Your Ground. Stand firm. Stand your ground. Second one. She-wolf. Unleash the wild within. The wild within. <laughs> Third one. Protection guardian. Drop your shields. So we don't have to have our shields up to stand our ground and to get in touch with that wild within, that wild um, spirit, that free spirit, that wandering spirit, that, that uh, we've got the she-wolf, you know, the someone that is part of the pack right that's what wolves are um but she is independent she is independent she's a free thinker someone that is different different i'm feeling that i'm really hearing that drop your shields as far as uh you know, guarding, um, and this really feels like it, 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 it's about the spirit. Although that this, this will also resonate with this love reading here. Okay. Um, feels like this is really let, you know, telling you to let your guard down and have some fun. Okay. Um, at the same time, standing, stand your ground, you know, um, stand in that person that you are. Be that unique person that you are. Eccentric, you know, but really telling you to have some fun here. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna pull these other Oracle cards. Wisdom of the Oracle. Sweet Josephine. Interesting what we're saying here. I'm just gonna let her give me messages that are coming in here. For some reason, the mountain makes me feel like you are a person that can move mountains and have before. Possibly at that place where you have moved mountains and now you need to stand your ground, protect, protect, maybe be in, uh, protect what you've built, right? You're safe and secure, right? You're safe and secure, you're built on the mountain. So it's okay to let let your guard down here and have a little fun. <laughs> right? Okay, let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has to say real quick. Okay. I had to shuffle some more. Okay, here we go. First card out. Flexible. So you're you've already you already know. You have a lot of life experience. Okay? So that life experience, whatever this situation is calling for you to be flexible. It's calling for you to be flexible. Okay? Buy the book. Buy the book. Something going on that is, is needs to go on. Buy the book. Walk the line. You already know how, right? You already know how. Something about this situation interesting the fates oh this is the destiny card <laughs> the fates the fates shall allow the fates will allow oh you're safe the fates are involved oh my gosh okay one more from the bottom round and round ew <laughs> this card something about round and round Typically, this card is, it always speaks to me about a relationship, but you go round and round, that person that keeps coming back, da, 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 da. So let's see if that's what this is about. Let's see what's going on there. Because it also very much can relate to um, a lot of intuitive thinking, a lot of intuitive power. Okay, let's pull the tarot. Okay, I've already shuffled, so I'm going to cut and start pulling. So let me put these down, okay? And then take a peeky peeky. Wow, we're at a new cycle. Wow. New cycle, new choices, new passions. Sometimes when we think we know it all, right? We, we refuse to see another opinion or refuse to see another perception, right? Um, balance, there's a balance here. My leaf is getting all crazy. Okay, so we've got the world, darling. The world here. Scorpio. This is uh, you. You're the world right now. This card represents you. So you are definitely going through new cycle. You are also protected. You see that circle around there? I'm telling everyone I can tell to pray and ask your higher power, the divine, whoever you call your higher power, God, to put his protective white light 
like a bubble around you to keep you safe, okay? Emotionally, physically, um, spiritually, okay? So this is representing that for me, uh, representing it to me, and I, I just, you know, that's really strong. So please do that, please, I love you, please do that, okay? All right, this is the world, the world, the world. This is you coming through a new cycle. You're going into a new cycle, okay? This is possible travel, which is pretty hard right now. Okay, but it could mean that. The other person is being represented as the Six of Wands, which is straight up. I mean, you can see the V's up there, right? That's victory. The victory. The divine is shined down and there's, a, there's an award, which you could be that award for this person, okay? Victory over, over something in their life that they've worked on and you're the victory. You're the award. I'm going to say that. I feel that. Okay. And then I pulled a card for your, that represents your relationship. And I got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. So this is really talking about <laughs> everything amazing for one thing. Um, something that's really going to fall go through right it's going to it's going to go the distance it's going to go go far something's going to go far it's going to build the emotional spiritual physical aspects um in your lives together that's what this relationship it it's representing um balance and grounding and nurturing Everything you touch turns to gold. Yep, that came in my head. Okay, then I pulled a crossing card. We got the crossing card. And we got the queen of wands. So this is what would be crossing or blocking. So there's a uh, feeling of, you know, pulling it all together, right? Um, putting a passion there, the passion might be blocking because there, there's either so much passion, you know, there could be an overwhelming. Um, there could also be like, um, you know, somebody might take more in the relationship than the other person. Okay, we're going to check it out, but it really feels like uh, what's blocking is how to put it together. How do we put this thing together kind of feeling, okay? Because... My Queen of Wands are always about orchestrating a beautiful symphony, orchestrating and planning a wonderful event. Um, they're beautiful, they're passionate, they're electrifying, they're out front, they're, they're, in, the, they're in front of people. They're the face of, of a company, you know, that's who they are to me. So there could be is something within that scenario, within those that, that is, uh, you know, blocking the situation. Okay. And then I decided to do pull a couple cards asking about the spiritual influences. How is the spirit influencing this relationship? I got the devil and I got the two of pentacles. Devil and two of pentacles. And this particular devil card is, look at it, it's really cool. It's like, you know, we're a puppet on the devil's string, you know, <laughs> which is, you know, addiction. We're a puppet to our addictions. Um, we're a, a puppet to, um, whatever we're, we're overdoing, right? We're over, if we're overworking, over drinking, overeating, uh, you know, just whatever we're overdoing. Okay. Um, and we've got the page of pentacles here. So there's a spiritual influence here. And the Page of Pentacles really is really about a, you know, juggling. I'm juggling this and that. So there could be a feeling of, of juggling a, an addiction. Um, possibly, you know, why do I want to say codependency? Because there's the puppet there. So you get used to a situation, right? And you, and you juggle that in your life. I mean, you know... Addictions can be every anything, you know, you know, um, I know you've heard the stories, you, you know, 
could be a workaholic. We do have the two of pentacles here. Um, could be juggling a couple people. So the spirit is influencing you to let go of one of those people because, because there's two and there only needs to be, you know, you only need to be with one other person, not, not dealing with two people, right? So this is the influence here. Okay, then I got advice. I got the two of swords, three of cups, and nine of wands. Okay, so there's a feeling of some kind of refusal to see, to see something. I think that might have to do with our friends. There, there's uh, the three of cups here, or refusal to see that there's another person involved, right? Um, and so we've got advice here is, is asking us to see, to, to look at that situation. And, um, hey, have a little bit, have a little bit of the guard up there. You've got life experience. You know what's going on. Your wand is lit. You know where you're going. You're at the nine. Okay. So this is the advice here. I want you to take a, a peek at that. Right. Okay. So we're going to get a little more information. Let's check it out. Let's see. Let's find out, let's just start clarifying. I wanna find out um, what this Queen of Wands is. Okay, Queen of Wands. So the blocking card here is about, it's about making a decision, making the judgment call. There is definitely a decision that needs to be made here then. There's a call, okay? There's a possible um, judge, this judgment card represents, you know, reconciliation and, you know, rising some, a relationship rising from the dead, or do we make the call to let it die? So let's find out. So that's why that block is there. There's a block of orchestrating, moving forward with the relationship because there's still another one that's in the way, right? That's the way I'm taking that. Oh, page of cups absolutely has to do with that. Absolutely. Okay, we've got the Page of Cups. Who? Yeah, so there's somebody else there, all right, that's kind of holding your heart, and you're gonna have to decide to move through that, or, or the other person's gonna have to decide, okay? So what is this Queen of Pentacles? So that other person could be messaging you, you know, telling you they love you. Keep in mind, if somebody is, we got round and round over here. If somebody's trying to peek back, get into the situation, let you know, hey, I'm still here. Hey, you know, I'm still telling you lies. I'm still telling you things that you want to hear. Um, keep that in mind, okay? I'm just going to say that. Um, you want that energy to die you want it to go get rid of the round and round um we have the king of cups here the king of cups is came out for the queen of pentacles which is representing the relationship um this relationship so hmm We definitely have you controlling your emotions and it looks like both of you are controlling your emotions. Yep. Strong and steady, tapping into that intuitive, you know. Um, okay. Letting go of the drama, right? Having power over the drama, okay? Standing your ground in that area. Standing your ground. So in one minute, moment, it's asking you to stand your ground. The other moment, it's asking you to drop your shields. So obviously, there's a message to the other person. Let go of the drama from the other person. Okay, stand your ground with the other person. But with this new person, you're being asked, hey, you know, drop your shields. Get in touch with that she-wolf and have a good time, you know. 
Wow, so you definitely have two, there's three people in this situation here. Okay, what is this uh, two of swords? Two of swords. Patience, blending. Okay, two other cards here. We've got car Justice card, Libra energy, Sagittarius energy, and we've got the Ten of Cups. So, looks like you are moving away from this other person. Your hat, the car Karma has got the Fates. You've got the Fates and, and the Justice card. So, Karma, the Fates have come in. And you are looking away from this other person. I'm so proud of you. You're looking away from this other person. Okay. You're having the patience. All right. You're, you're not in any kind of fantasy. You're not looking at the fantasy land of this third party thing. You have got your, your, you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground because you're wanting that. You're wanting that 10 of cups. Okay. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. You're wanting that Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, guys. I'm so happy that you're doing that. What is this Two of Pentacles? The information that's coming really fast. Somebody's coming really fast and it's, 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 um, it's, uh, you're having to make a choice. You're having to make a decision. Some kind of information about money, some kind of information about this person, but you're having to make a decision and, and it's based off of that energy. Okay. Of something coming in fast night in shining armor. Somebody's coming at you hard. This person that this victory person is totally coming at you. Okay. What is this devil? High Priestess, King of Pentacles. Wow. It's, you've got victory over this devil. you got victory over this devil. Okay, because this High Priestess trumps it. And you are really tapping into your intuition. And you are you're like, okay, so we've got the Queen of Pentacles that's being represented um, in your relationship. And we've got <laughs> the King of Pentacles here with this High Priestess card. I get the king and queen. Beautiful. And so this is really saying that you're 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 solid, you're grounded, you know what you're doing now. You you know what? You know what you're doing so you can actually relax, okay? Cuz you move past this situation. Okay? This this is all coming towards you or is going on right now. Okay? And you you've moved you've moved past that now. So you're safe. You're safe to drop your shields. You're getting rid of that going around round and round stuff. The fates have come in. Now it's calling for you to be flexible. Be flexible, man. Go have some fun. Go go do, you know, uh, let that wild side come out. It's okay. You're safe. You're safe to do that. Okay? Oh, man. I love, I've been getting these readings. People are finally um, getting past this round and round bullshit. This person that comes back and peeks into our life and, you know, hey, hey, oh man, yeah, no, ignore, okay, a block, right? I'm just so irritated, sick of it, yeah. What is this king of wands? I mean, what is this uh, six of wands, this person? What is this six of wands? Passionate, fire, victory, award. Maybe because of all the work that you've done, this person is your award. That's it. <laughs> this person is your award. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this person is victory over that round and round person. Okay. Oh man, yes. Even exchange epiphany nine of cups wish okay the, the tower cards in here but the tower card is in here with this victory card so this is really like this you know you just look at these two cards here okay you can see 
you can see the lightning, the light coming in, like, ah, uh, <laughs> you know? And then here we've got, you know, the light that's swirling around that. The figure eight, the figure eight of the two of pentacles coming in over the six of pentacles. This is an even exchange. And look at that. How's that for, ah, uh, <laughs> nine of cups. That is absolutely, this person is your wish, my darling, your, your prize, your wish, your epiphany. It came in, it's charged you really fast. And this is your, this is your joy. This is your person here. This is uh, your reward for the hard work for, you know, the thing that's, that it's calling for you to do now is to be flexible, you know, um, we're going to get more information. I'm going to go over to the extended and we're going to um, find out more. Okay. I hope I see you over there. If not, congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me so much and I will see you soon. Mm, take care. Bye.